have our seeds that we had gotten from before in the seed grid. We have some 5% bleach. And we have an epi tube. And what we're going to do is just take some of the seeds. And take a few into the epi tube like so. We're going to fill the epi tube about halfway. We want to make sure there's plenty of room for them to slosh around and get sterilized. I made sure to put plenty more seeds than I needed in here. You can see about halfway. Uh, because usually you do lose a few during the sterilization process. We want to make sure we have plenty. And then now we're going to take our 5% bleach and just pour it until the epi tube is full. And cap it. So now we have our tube containing our seeds and our bleach. And now we're going to let it sit and rotate for, 15, for 20 minutes. Come over here, put it in the rotator so you can see our seeds are rotating and we'll let them be like that for 20 minutes. Seeds are in the tube and we want to keep switching them to different tubes because we want to get as much bleach out of it as possible. So now they can probably do the shortest wash. This is the third wash. By now they should be pretty clean. So we'll go for about a minute. Trying to keep it slightly open. Get some of the water out. now we're gonna set aside our water we won't need that anymore and get out one of our GA7s so this has our half MS media the reason we use half MS instead of full MS is because the seeds don't need all of the nutrients that are in the full MS so it would be a waste to make it full so now I just tap the seeds down into the lid I'm going to grab myself a pair of tweezers and stick them in the sterile beads over here. Uh, wait 10 seconds. That's the time it takes for these bead sterilizers to sterilize tweezers. I'm going to take them, cool them off a little bit in our media. And I'm going to take seeds one at a time. Put them gently in the media. We want them very slightly submerged, but not completely covered. As you can see here, very slightly in the media, not completely covered. Now we have container. 16 seeds. So we're going to take it, pull them off, wrap them in our saran wrap, keep everything sterile inside. And we're going to label them with the date that they were sewed or sterilized. And then we know about two weeks after the sewed date is when they are at the perfect level to be harvested and cut up for transformation, if that's what you want to do with your sterile seeds. So now we have that. And then they'll go in the dark for or 33 days. Uh, and then in the light remainder of their two weeks. 